Alright, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's staying safe. So right here, I have two Samsung Galaxy M31 units, one in blue and one in black. I'll be unboxing only one. So just a little heads up, I'll be listing both of these units on my carousel account at Lee Matthew 93 I will be linking it in the description below. So if you do want to pick this up slightly cheaper than retail, definitely head over to my carousel page and you'll see both units there. So just a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Samsung in any way. I actually purchased this with my own money. The reason I actually purchased the M31 is because I think it has the best balance between performance and also value for money. Yes, I know the M31 is more of a lower mid-tier phone from Samsung. But however, it does take over some characteristics of the Galaxy A71 as well, especially in the camera department. I'll get right into that in the unboxing. Alright, so let me pick one of these boxes to unbox. So let's see. Um, I have one in blue and one in black. Okay, we will open the blue one because the blue one is basically more unique. Black is like a general, very general color. Alright, so let's take a look at the box. You can see Samsung logo on the top. You can see M31 right here. And on the bottom, you can see that is in a 128 GB configuration with 6 gigs of RAM you can see the model number right there so this is official Samsung Malaysia warranty on the left hand side you can see Samsung Galaxy M31 on the right basically you can get your warranty registered online so you can see this is actually a sealed box but this will be sold as an open box because I'll be definitely cutting open the seal because of this video right so let me grab my unboxing knife and I'll be right back so let me cut the seal. There's one seal at the bottom and one on top. One more at the bottom. So that's done. Okay, so we have to slide the sleeve out of this box. Alright, so this is actually just an outer shell. Alright, so on the top we get a small white box with the Samsung branding. And what do we get inside? Do we get a case? I don't think so. Okay, so we don't get a case with this device. Hmm, that's kind of unique. So, quick start guide in a couple of languages. Warranty card. And more warranty card. Regional lock guide. Okay, that's about it. We have some IMA stickers. Alright, so let's take the phone out of the package. So, you can see this is a nice blue color. Very discreet blue. So you can't really see it. It's not very flashy like the Galaxy A51 which I unboxed earlier. You can see the fingerprint scanner. However, we'll get back to this in a second. Alright, let's see what comes in the box. You get a Type-C, a Type-A USB-C cable. You get a headphone. And these headphones have a 3.5mm connector which means that this phone actually has a 3.5 mm audio jack let me get in focus you can see there right there very nice i mean only mid-range phones these days have 3.5 mm jacks okay what else do we have you can see that we have an adaptive fast charging brick let's see let me get it in the light the adaptive fast charging with a retractable pin what else do we get? We get a SIM ejector tool right here. I'm not going to take that out. We don't have a case. So sadly, we don't have a case. You're on your own if you want to get a case for this device. So you can see Samsung Galaxy M31. Infinity U display. So this is a, not a punch out, but it's a sm small little cut out, a notch display. Quad camera, 6000 mAh battery. This is one of the biggest batteries I've ever tested on a device. Okay, so let me slide this out of the package. Let me see what I can do without tearing the plastic. Right, so it looks like I have to tear the plastic. Which is not something I actually wanted to do. Right, so sliding the phone out. I put that back in the box. So you can see this phone is pretty nice in hand. As you say, you have a nice, a pretty large display right here. But of course, you can see the bottom chin is... Uh, Pretty obvious as compared to the Galaxy A51 and A71. However, those are way more expensive devices. Okay, on the right hand side, you get your power button and your volume up and down. Let me get that in the light so you can have a look. 
can see right here. On the back, you get a fingerprint scanner, your quad camera setup, which is similar to the Galaxy A71 with a 64 megapixel camera. And then there's also ultra wide, a macro, and a depth sensing camera, 5 megapixel depth sensor, if I'm not mistaken. And you have an LED flash. And let me bring that closer. You can see right here. So this 64 megapixel camera does pixel binning, so you'll get approximately a 16 megapixel image. But however, because of pixel binning, you'll get a much better image in terms of dynamic range and also details. Alright, fingerprint scanner, Samsung logo on the bottom, very nice blue color. This is a very deep blue color. Okay, on the left hand side, you get nothing except for your SIM card tray. You can see right here. Okay, let's take a look at the bottom. The bottom, you have a headphone jack, a Type-C connector, as well as a microphone and your single speaker. Okay, let's take a look at the top. You can see on the top, there's a front-facing camera as well as a small slit for the earpiece. And right on the top, you also get a secondary noise cancellation microphone right there. So overall, I would say that this is a pretty nice device. I mean, considered the price at 1099 I mean the finishing is actually very good there are no sharp corners however this is a plastic bag it's not a glass bag you can see it's a plastic bag and I'm not sure whether this model I have here has NFC if it does have NFC most likely you will have Samsung pay along with it so I do hope that it has right so coming back to the specs of this device let's go for the camera specs first so as I mentioned the 64 megapixel camera at f1.8 it is a pretty large sensor size at one over 1.72 inches. I mean, even the Huawei P30 Pro has the same size sensor, so you can expect very good camera quality. We have a 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and 5 megapixel depth sensor for your portrait shots or live focus, as Samsung calls it. Okay, it also shoots at 4K. However, it's capped at 30 frames per second because this is a mid-tier device, and mid-tier processors are not capable of rendering. 60 frames per second at 4k so however you do also have 1080p at 30 frames per second and it has eis so this doesn't have ois okay on the front you have a 32 megapixel f2.0 camera with hdr as well and surprisingly it has 4k recording at 30 frames per second i'm actually very impressed because you don't really see that in mid-tier phones i mean 4k is usually reserved for the higher end devices like the galaxy S series or the Note series. Okay, what else do we have here? We have a Bluetooth 5.0. I mean, not 5.1, but 5.0, which is actually considered very good for this price range. Okay, so in terms of the processor, it is running on the Exynos 9611 at 10 nanometer. I mean, it's not the most battery efficient or the latest and greatest processor, but it will get the job done. In fact, I've, I've, if I'm not mistaken, it's the same processor as the A51. Or the A71, I think this is the A51 if I'm not mistaken. And considering the price, this is way cheaper and it has the best of the A71 and the A51. We are running Android 10 with a One UI 2.0 which is similar to the Galaxy S series, the S20 series, which is the latest from Samsung. So the screen in front is a 6.4 inch display, AMOLED display of course because it's coming from Samsung. It is a 1080p resolution and has a 403 ppi density and it's rocking Corning Gorilla Glass 3 in front which is not bad and I think the polycarbonate back will do better in drops as well this phone also has a hybrid sim slot so you can insert a micro SD card if you are a fan of that and if you do have a previous phone with a micro SD card you can actually transfer all your data through the micro SD card slot and this version is the highest configuration at uh, 138 GB and 6 GB of RAM. However, they do have another version at 64 GB, but both of my units right here are 128 GB storage variants. So actually, this phone was launched on February 25th, which is a considered a very new device. You don't really see many sellers selling the M31, to be honest. And actually, I bought this from the Samsung store themselves at a full retail price. Okay, so that wraps up our unboxing for the Galaxy M31. However, I won't be powering this device on because I don't want to activate the warranty. So if you do want to get this device and also the black variant sealed, you can check out my carousel store. I'll leave a link in the description below. If for international buyers, I will also include a link where you can buy it from the official site. So that's all for this unboxing. I hope you guys liked it. Stay safe guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.